very year. How are you today? Well, today is Wednesday, the, the 8th of July, and we are going to analyze the mistakes of Unit 7, okay? Well, first of all, first of all, yes, yeah, um, pay attention, yes, okay, wait a minute. I will project, yes, the only student Yes, the only student, yes, okay, that wrote the three words that I repeated many times, yes, many times, the three fruits that I said in class that I repeated many times and I asked in the video class that you should write, you must Yes, you have to write, yes, at the end of the CB, yes, at the end of your CB, was Guillermina. So, well done, Guillermina. Good work, yes. Banana, pear, and apple, yes. You were paying attention, paying attention, yes, okay. Well done. Well, well, well done. Okay. Necesitan mirar las clases a conciencia. No ir al trabajo, hacer la revisión, el CV y no mirar la clase. Yes, because in the class I ask that you should write, you have to write the three words that I repeated many times and the only student that could do it was Guillermina. So think about it. Yes, okay. Good. Well, so we are going to, um, yes, we are going to analyze the mistakes, yes, a todos le pude mandar la, um, la correction, yes, sus correcciones, así que ahora lo que vamos a hacer es corregir rapidito, sí, para irnos a otra cosa, voy a explicar las tareas de las vacaciones también, Yes, okay. Well, cada uno tiene su corrección. Siguen fallando las mayúsculas. Yes. Nombres de personas, meses, cuando comienza una oración, las la primera letrita va con mayúscula. Entonces, hay algo que está fallando acá. Si es que yo estoy corrigiendo y me vuelven a enviar tarea con los mismos errores. Entonces, el alumno no está mirando, o a lo mejor mira, pero no mira a conciencia. Tiene que mirar las correcciones, porque a mí me lleva mucho tiempo, ¿sí? Corregir. Porque yo no les mando, sí, estuvo lindo tu trabajito, muy linda la foto que le pegaste. ¿Sí? Lleva tiempo las correcciones. Entonces, yo quiero que ustedes se tomen el tiempo de mirar qué error tiene cada uno. A ver, ¿te faltó en este currículo la foto? En el próximo le pones... Muy bien, Rodri, porque Rodri en, 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 el, en el currículum, en el CV, en el currículum de el test, me avisó, teacher, no pude dibujarle, entonces ella sabía, no es ese, no es, yes, ok, ella sabía qué cosa, eh, que me tenía que avisar, perdón, él me tenía que avisar qué tal, entonces yo estaba atenta ¿qué cosa? a que él no se olvidó, no es que no entendió sino que no lo pudo pegar, pero sabe que ahí había una foto. Por otra parte, también otro de los CD estaba, en, fue el de Dani, que él lo dibujó. Yo dije que podían o pegar una fotito o dibujar, pero a mí me tiene que quedar claro cuando la tarea me llega que vos entendiste en casa cuál fue el task. Como las palabras que yo voy nombrando y que les pido que escriban, ¿sí? entonces yo me imagino que la mayoría vio la clase por partes o directamente no las vio. ¿Se entiende? Entonces, hay algo que tienen que cambiar porque el tema se está dando así. Entonces, cada vez tenés que ser más responsable. ¿Sí? ¿Está? Bueno. Um, so, hay una parte que está muy baja que es las preposiciones de movimiento que fueron las que yo di. El que no 
puso palabras en el cuadernito de la A a la Z, las tiene que poner y escribir un ejemplo, ¿sí? Para mejorar. Yes, ok. Número uno, at the office. Yes. Then you have next to the computer. Yes. Number four, in your back. Under your chair. Out. Yes. On the floor, out. Yes. Perdón, 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 perdón. Está en el uno. Complete the book. Yes. Ok. Uh, 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 wait a minute. Five. Under. I am walking out of the door. And seven. Outside the cinema. Entonces, tenés que tener en claro las palabras. Por ejemplo, los verbos de movimiento, las proposiciones de movimiento van acompañados de un verbo. Yes? For example, walking out of the door. Salir. Waiting outside the cinema. Yes? Okay? Number two. The correct option. Yes? ¿Qué es? ¿Cuál es la palabra que yo había marcado que es pedir un trabajo? Apply for a job. Yes? You apply for a job. Is it clear? Good. Then, in number two, are you there? Good. So you have in, keep my mobile in a drawer, not into, en un cajón, go through that door, todo lo que indica atravesar, ¿sí? Go through the door, porque vos atravesás. Yes? Ok? For, um, in a canteen, in the canteen, and then you have down, yes? Walk down the room, yes? Okay, walk down the room, yes? Okay? Perdón, walk into, perdón que estaba el osito ese, el... Yes, no, see the snowman, yes. Walk into the room, yes. Go down the stairs. Esa es la que te puse, Rodri. Bajar las escaleras. Go up the stair, it goes go down the stair, yes. Ok, y number three. Yes. Esta ya sabéis que va a ser present perfect. Have you applied? Have you applied? For the job. Y te tenías que acordar la palabra apply, que es la que expliqué yo cuando decíamos que pedimos un trabajo, cuando expliqué lo del CV. Yes, ok. And then, have spoken. How long, ya sabemos que acá vamos a poner sí o sí algo con present perfect, porque how long es de present perfect. How long have you studied photography? Number five, the company hasn't done well this year. Sofía and I have been friends, y acá te dice, over 20 years. For over. Entonces vos sabés que for, since, yes, already, son adverbios del present perfect. Entonces te tenés que guiar por los adverbios. Has Brad really moved to Texas? Yes. ¿Se ha mudado? Exercise 4. Bueno. Acá tenemos, tenemos a uh, four, yes, are you ready? Yes, uh, since I was four, born, yes, since June, since the 25th, the 26th of August, for a long time, four days, for several weeks, and uh, for three years. ¿Ven? Y la última, y acá otra vez tenemos mezclado los tiempos, Present perfect or past simple. Did you get, did you get a full-time job with the company? ¿Conseguiste un trabajo? Number three. Hasn't enjoyed. ¿Por qué te taché si pusiste has enjoyed? Porque hasn't enjoyed. 
porque dice, todavía no deja ese trabajo, no ha disfrutado por más de cinco años. Entonces ahí te daba la idea de que era una oración negativa. Yes, ok. Have you had any experience? Number five, joined two weeks ago. Me sorprende porque hasta cosas que son muy básicas me ponen mal. Hagan la, los trabajos a conciencia, por favor. Y después viene, obviamente, since, yes, have left. En el último, 2B, 3B, 4A, 5B y 6 Ahí. To be, have been, for, tenés otra vez. Number three, be, booked yesterday, pasado. Number four, a, had, ten minutes ago, pasado. Number five, be, Have you ever? Y tenemos la palabra ever. Number six, see. Y tenemos la palabra got. Yes? Last month. Entonces, la mayoría tenía un adverbio. Y el adverbio me indica que es o present simple, o present perfect, o eh, present perfect, o past. ¿Es it clear? Bueno, entonces, Benicio. English Academy. Current, current job, que es el trabajo actual. Yes. Um, pueden poner, cuando quieren poner que manejan el idioma, puedes poner o oh, bilingual, yes, o oh, uh, good, o oh, advanced English, written and spoken, porque a veces solamente te piden hablado, pero no escrito, a veces te piden escrito, pero no hablado, depende del, depending on the task you have to do. Yes. Maxi, no me mandaste en PDF. Yes, no te pude corregir. Yes. Otra cosa que es desde una, algo que se enseña desde siempre aquí. Primero va el número y después va 166 morenos y lo explico. Entonces me da la pauta que no están viendo la, las clases. Y yo hoy voy a mandar las libretas y voy a mandar las notitas mañana. ¿Sí? Ok, vamos a estar mandando todas las libretas. ¿Ok? Y voy a mandar una nota para que en casa charlen el tema de ver las clases porque eh, yo veo que mi trabajo no llega a buen puerto, ¿sí? Y no hay una mejora en, en algunos alumnos. En los que trabajan a conciencia, sí. Pero en otros no, porque marco puntos que me siguen poniendo los mismos puntos iguales. Entonces, si yo te marco que primero va el número y después la calle y vos en las próximas composiciones me seguís poniendo mal, quiere decir que la clase no la estás viendo, porque si la ves, ah, primero va el número, listo, ya te queda y lo haces bien. Entonces ese es el tema. Otro, otra cosa es que se comieron los números ordinales, third, 26, uh, 22nd, cuando ponían el, el número del cumpleaños, yes, um, Las references, las references, se ponen a personas. Eso expliqué también cuando expliqué, cuando proyecté un currículo. Les dije que podían mirar en el classbook y en el activity book. References, vos tenés que poner el número de quién. Mr. Fernández y el número de teléfono. Ruth Gómez y el número de teléfono. ¿Para qué? Para que la gente que te está por tomar o tiene pensado tomarte... Ma, llame, call, to this, call this number and ask for references. ¿Yes? ¿Está? Entonces, todas esas cositas tienen que ir viendo en las que, en lo que le corregimos. ¿Yes? Yo voy explicando las cosas que van surgiendo. Mía, las mayúsculas, por favor. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Benicio, repasate las prepositions of movement. Apply for a job. Dani, el pasado, el, el, el past y el perfect. Ojo. Las prepositions Movement, preposición of movement también. Eh, ojo mía que te corregí ahí dónde iban cada cosa, ¿sí? En skills vos tenés que poner todas las habilidades que tenés. Manejo de Word, manejo de Excel, manejas tres idiomas, ¿está? No mezclen 
las eh, skills con los interests. Interests son las cosas que te interesan a vos. Eh, art, uh, economy, en las cosas que vos estás interesado, ¿sí? Yes, is it clear? Um, fútbol, yes. Ojo, Dani, también expliqué lo de la referencia. Ah, había alguien también que me escribió, Fenicio creo que era, bueno, alguien, Economics, que estudia, vos tenés que poner, eh, UNE, bueno, mi university o tal, qué sé yo, Economy, y la carrera que estudiaste. ¿Está? ¿Is it clear? Bueno. Eh, Bien, y A, ah, pasante, practicante, se dice inter. Hay una película que se llama El pasante de inter, que es con una actriz muy famosa y con Robert De Niro, creo que está. ¿Yes? ¿Ok? Eh, bueno, de igual, ay, justo se me fue de la mente. Hizo Catwoman también ella y muchas, entre otras. ¿Yes? Está, eso es con respecto a esto, eh, quedó muy claro. And now... We are going to go to uh, pages 90 and 91. Yo te voy a dejar, solo vamos a hacer exercises 1 and 2. Work in life, yes? These Italian actors are working in Turkey. They are performing Romeo and Juliet. In the background, I can see a, a theater. They are uh, on the stage, yes? And now we are going to watch a video And you are going to highlight pages 91 and 90. I will send the video. Yo te mando siempre el video para trabajar. Organic, set up a market. Set up a market, yes. Is start a market. Outweigh, the positive part of my job outweigh, yes. The negative, Vi variety, bring together. When you have a party, you can bring together all your friends. Yes? Okay? And we are going to join sentences from 1 to 5 with letters from A to F. And then you are going to watch three people talking about their jobs. Before you watch, look at the photos and descriptions from 1 uh, to 3 and description from A to F and predict which person says each sentence. Okay? Is it clear? So let's go. Esperamos un ratito esto. Ok. Right, right, right. Yes, ok. So what do you think is organic? Yes, you have. A, prepare, B, produce on farm which use no chemicals, C, are more important than, D, when something has different parts, so you don't always do the same thing, E, a place for selling things outside, or F, well, and F, have everyone in the same place. Well, so um, I want you to go now, yes, okay, are you there? Good, good. So we have one B. So organic, yes, is produced on farm, which which um, use no chemicals. Yes, okay. Uh, you know now it's very it is very fashionable to eat to eat organic food. Yes, or buy organic products. Yes, okay. Two A. Two A. Prepare. Yes, that is to set up. Prepare, yes. I will set up my business very quickly. Yes, prepare. Yes, I will set up the academy for you to come. Yes, okay. 3C. 3C. Outweight is are more important than. Yes, the positive part are more important than the negative. Entonces, outweight significa are more important. Yes, okay. Than. D, 4D, variety, when something has different parts, so you don't always do the same thing, variedad. 5F, 5F, bring together, have everyone in the same place, yes, okay? We are going to bring together, 
yes at my party yes it's what you do, you can't do now yes okay exercise two yes are you there yes you're going to do it okay and then we're going to uh, check yes okay shall we check yes we have um, what do it yes let's see are you ready good My name's Katie, I sell organic fruits and vegetables in lots of different places. So she sells organic food and fruits, yes, in different places, yes? So it means organic food, it means that um, it's uh, no chemical, yes, no chemicals. They use, they don't use chemicals on the fruits and vegetables and all these fruits and vegetables are used yeah are uh, from their uh, their farm i always have to work at the weekends we start about 7 30 in the morning um, we set up the market store which gets busy about 9 30. so they start very early in the morning they start very early in the morning 7 30 in the morning and they also work at the weekends I take a break for lunch around midday and then we pack up and go home at three o'clock. So they only take a break, they only take a break for some minutes and then at three they finish and they go home. But they have to work during the weekend. <laughs> I like my job because I get to meet lots of different people, it's good exercise and it's good for the environment because our farm. So, she likes her job. Why? Because she meets a lot of people. She meets a lot of people. Yes? Let's grow organic food. The job can be difficult because it's long hours and sometimes the weather can be bad because it rains but overall it's really enjoyable. So what's the disadvantage of this work? Sometimes it's tiring, yes, sometimes it's tiring because they work for long hours but there is um, a positive thing that they, they meet a lot of people but another negative thing is that there are many rainy days. <laughs> this is job number two. See if you guessed, yes? In the part that you have too much. <laughs> I am from Argentina. I am a Spanish teacher and I've taught Spanish for 14 years. Okay, so she is Virginia and she is from Argentina. You know, she teaches Spanish, yes? Okay, and she has teach, she has taught Spanish for many years. Listen, Virginia. Like Virginia Goof. <laughs> My name is Virginia. I am from Argentina. I am a Spanish teacher and I've taught Spanish for 14 years since I came to England. She has taught Spanish for 14 years, yes, since she arrived there. Good. Muy bien. When I teach at uh, people's houses, I normally start at 4 o'clock and uh, that can involve maybe going to two different houses um, or I also teach in the evening uh, to a group of adults and those lessons are from 6.30 to 8.30. So she goes, she teaches at home, yes, and she starts from 4 
yes, to five or to six, yes, but this is in individual work, yes, but from six to eight, more or less, she teaches to a group of adults, yes, okay? In the evening. Hola. Hola. <laughs> ¿Cómo te llama? I like teaching Spanish for many reasons. One of them is because I like sharing my culture with other people and I feel it's a way of uh, bringing people together through languages. Okay, what do you think? Does she like teaching English? Yes, uh, teaching Spanish, sorry. Why? She, yes, she does because she can share her culture, yes? So she, um, she shares what she knows, yes, okay, and many people get together, yes. She can bring together. I do find the job difficult sometimes. Sometimes the, the work involves a lot of paperwork or marking, and after a few hours of doing that, it can be a bit boring. And when I teach at different people's houses, that involves traveling from home to home. And so that is a disadvantage, yes, because she, has to, she hasn't got an academy, for example, so she has to teach in different houses. So that involves, yes, okay, the, pos the, the possibility of bringing together people, it's very nice, it's a, a positive thing, yes, but on the contrary, on the other side, side on the other hand I mean yes she has to move yes and okay of course she have to move from one place to the other and that is expensive sometimes that can be tiring and tiring overall the positives outweigh the negatives and it's it's a fun job and I enjoy very much of a tavern, claps me a sword on the table and says, Golf. My name's Marcus and I'm an actor. I've... And this is Marcus, yes, okay, and he's an actor, yes. Been an actor for six years. At the moment, I'm in a play called Romeo and Juliet by William Shakespeare. I've always wanted to be an actor, so I feel very lucky to be able to do it now. There are a few reasons why I enjoy doing it. Uh, I really like the variety. Uh, no two days are the same. Uh, I enjoy working with other people and working as a team. And I really like the sense of achievement that I get from creating something. Okay, so he likes the sense of achieve achievement of creating something. He likes being in contact with other people. So he's working, he's good at working in teams, yes? You know, there, there can be some difficulties being an actor. Um, I often have to work very long hours. Uh, I could start first thing in the morning and not finish till midnight. Um, there's a lot of travel involved as well, which can be quite difficult. Uh, I sometimes have to go up and down the country just to get to work. The pay isn't that great either. Um, unless you're famous, then you don't really often earn that much. Okay, unless you are famous, okay, the payment is not very good. Yes, okay. So, uh, and they have to travel, yes, to many places, okay. As an actor. Um, but it's a really fun lifestyle and I, I still really enjoy it, so it, it's great. Really. You like your both your houses. Remember to stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answers, okay? Well, did you guess which of them? Yes, okay? So, we have Kathy, Virginia, Marcus, yes, okay. So, there we are. Yes, remember to stop the video, yes, do if you haven't done, and then listen to the answers, okay?
A, Marcus. Yes, B, Kathy. C, Virginia. Yes, D, Marcus. C, Kathy. And F, Virginia. Yes, okay. Well, so now, yes, now, I'm going to explain the homework. You are going to do pages 7, pages 10. Yes, you have the cuadernillo. Acuérdense que mandamos las tapas de los cuadernillos a el, al classroom. Entonces, los papás tenían que encargar este cuadernillo que es el de third year. Ok, but page 7, page 7. Yes, ok, you're going to do page 7. You are going to practice here present simple. Yes, okay. Remember the cuadernillo is for practicing all the grammar that we have done. Yes, that we have done until here. Yes, okay. So you will do page seven, page 10. Yes, page 10. And on page 10, you are going to revise going to or present continuous as future. Yes, is it clear? And then you have present simple also. So for those who were having problems with present simple, present continuous, past, with tenses in general, this is your opportunity. Yes, okay? Uh, page 12, page 12, yes. From page 12, only for e from exercises 1 to exercise 10, yes? Only from exercise one to exercise ten. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Page 13, the past. Page 15, used to. Todas las cosas que solía hacer. Yes, I used to play tennis. Cada vez que está el used to. El verbo va en infinitivo. I didn't used to play with dolls. I didn't used to play with marbles. I used to play with dolls when I was a child. Did you used to play? Did you used to play? Está el de, verbo en infinitivo. Verbo used en infinitivo. To play with blah, blah, blah. Is it clear? Ojo ahí. Yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Wait a minute. 13, yes, uh, sorry, 15, 17, yes, past simple, past continuous, while, prestar atención a cuando aparece while and when. While I was eating a sandwich, my mother was cleaning the house. I was talking on the phone when somebody knocked at the door. Acordate, esa combinación past simple, past, con, past continuous, past simple. Yes, okay. Um, 23, yes, 23. Adjetivos comparatives, acordate, long adjectives, more than, short adjective, better than, Longer than, yes, is it clear? Good, 27. Who, whose, who, where. This is the house where I live. This is the book. This is the marker whose owner is Teacher Ruth. This is the book. This is the keyboard whose owner is David. That is the girl whose mother is my best friend. Yes, de quién, where, para lugares, whose, para decir la cosa de alguien, que la cosa pertenece a alguien. This is um, the table, yes, which I painted, para objetos, which or that, para objetos, who, para personas. Yes, okay, all right. So Susan, page 27, is the woman who I love. Yes, for example. Yes, ok, 27, solo el ejercicio 1, yes, exercise 1. Then you have 30, page 30, yes, will or won't, I will, 
buy a new house next year. You won't pass the exam if you don't study. Yeah, okay. 37, page 36, pardon, 36. Yes, if plus present past will. Conditional. If you study, you will pass the exam. Yes, okay. If you study, if you study, you will pass the exam. If it rains, I won't go to that party. Okay, so you have if plus present plus will. Okay, is it clear or won't? Si queremos negar. Okay, obviamente cuando está el will, el verbo va en infinitivo. Yes. If I buy vegetables, I will cook them. If I read this book, I will be very happy. Is it clear? So pay attention, revise everything. And at the beginning, you have uh, compositions, compositions, and you have, tenés una guía, and you have, yes, and you have, and you have, uh, blah, 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 the list of the compositions. Yes, lista de composiciones. Y vas a hacer la composición number one, la number two y la number three. You have found a pair of glasses in the cafeteria. Write a notice. Acordate la nota. I found a lost pair of glasses. ¿Qué teníamos que poner en una nota? ¿Sí? Lo importante. ¿Cómo era el pair of glasses? Green pair of glasses. Green brand new pair of glasses. Yes, yes. Okay. I lost them. I lost them in the school cafeteria. Yes. They were green and big. Reward, if you give a reward, $10. Yes, okay. Si vas a dar una recompensa. Okay. And... Contact details. If you find it, contact Rodri at this number. Is it clear? Number two, write a short introduction about yourself for the English Corner website. 80 palabras. Y al lado, uh, dice las palabras. En el primero, no pongo el número de palabras porque es una notice, es súper corta, con los datos que tiene que tener. ¿Sí? A short introduction about you. I'm Ruth. Yes, I'm a teacher. I'm 40 years old. I like reading in my free time. I don't like... Um, I don't like ironing. Yes. Uh, I prefer cleaning the house. Um, my best uh, friend is Angelica. She has been my best friend for many years. Yes, I've got a husband and I've got two daughters. Um, in our free time, in our free time, we like sharing moments, good moments together. A short introduction about you. And in exercise C, you want to join a pen-friend site on the internet. You have to write an email, advert for a pen-friend and, and briefly describe how you look, what kind of person you are, Así después, vos te vas a tener que poner esto en una website porque vas a conseguir amigos. So you have to say, I am tall, short, I, I have got big blue eyes, I've got brown hair, short hair, yes, por eso te dice que te describas. Write, corregíla ahí porque se me escapó una T. Write about your interests, yes, I am interested in sharing good moments, I am interested in talking to people uh, from uh, 12 years old to 15 years old or people from my age, yes, and uh, I like to exchange emails, yes, with you because I want to talk about football, I want to talk about fashion, I want to talk about computers, I want to talk about um, games, 
¿Está? Entonces te vas a unir a esta website, ¿yes? Pero tenés que escribir tu advert, ¿yes? Presentándote y ahí la gente va. ¿Y por qué te unís a esto? ¿Sí? Pero te tenés que presentar, decir tus interests, decir, eh, ojo que están las más words, ¿eh? Tienen las más words, así que tenés que usar comparatives, tenés que usar superlatives, ¿yes? I am the most intelligent in my family. I am taller than my brother, but fatter than my sister. Yes, I am sometimes a bit bossy, but I'm not selfish. So I think uh, I would be the perfect friend for you. Yes, okay? Todas las partes, your interests, uh, why you want to change the letter, and what kind of person you are, and how you look. Yes, okay? Is it clear? That were uh, compositions number one, number two, and number three. Is it clear? Well, um, te pongo todo ahí, ¿ok? Bye, bye. Happy holidays. Renovate y hace todo lo que tengas que hacer poco a poco, día a día. Happy holidays.